Well, lots of pet owners face the same summertime decision. Where should I leave my dog when I go out of town? But the Fox 5 I team discovered even when you ask all the right questions, you still may not get what you pay for. Now, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis here now with a revelation that has some customers very upset. Randy? Yeah, Russ, first of all, I want to make sure that people understand this. This investigation has nothing to do with animal abuse. Instead, it's a matter of a metro kennel with a glowing reputation not giving some customers what they thought. From the outside, pampered pet care of Atlanta shines with country goodness. Spacious runs and happy dogs. You're not going to meet anybody that doesn't love, loves animals mm -hmm. more than I do. But here's a room customers say is not part of the tour. I witnessed a customer explicitly stating, um, you know, is my dog going in one of the runs like I've seen? And the manager said, yes, yes, absolutely. And it was ultimately placed in, in the basement in a crate. Emily Losell worked only one weekend at Pamper Pet. She found customers' dogs housed in wire crates in the basement level. Their kennel cards attached to the doors. So before she quit, Emily took out her smartphone. Every time I had been down there, the lights were all out. Um, it's damp, like in most basements. There's a very strong odor and flies. If you've only worked there two four-hour shifts, how do you know that what you saw is really what's going on, and not just maybe an exception, a bad weekend? Well, I can tell you, A, um, it was not filled the capacity. They had a system even when we prepared meals, the basement dogs got a different color label. Do you think the owners of those dogs in the basement knew that their dogs were going to wind up in that condition? I do not. She'd be right. They don't tell you that this exists. They show you beautiful runs. That's Linda Wilman's poodle mix bear in the corner of the room. She also dropped off her son's two dogs, Oreo and Oliver. Both also wound up in the basement. Combined, the family gave Pampered Pet $882 for eight nights. See, this is just wrong, guys. I got to tell you, this is just not. I just love to know where this place is. I didn't even know there was a basement. Neither did Stephanie Ty. You may have noticed her basset hound Wheezy howling in her crate. They didn't tell us the truth. She also dropped off Wheezy's bedding and blanket to keep her company at the kennel. That former employee, Emily Losell, took these pictures showing the Basset Hound's belongings stacked in a room with other customers' bedding. It never crossed my mind, you know, that this could, something like that could be happening, ever. We had some clients that did not pick up their dogs on time. We had some clients that showed up early. So we did use this as a temporary overflow. Kennel owner Sarah Polk told us what that former employee happened to see happened only for two nights that weekend. Can you understand why the owners would be upset since they booked months ahead of time and their dogs are the ones that are put down here as opposed to the runs where they were promised they'd be? I, I mean, I guess I could see that, but I, I know that, you know, in my heart, we took care of these dogs great, and there was no difference in that. And there were some empty runs upstairs when that former employee left at the end of the night. Why didn't you just move those dogs upstairs before you left Sunday night? It may have been because we had a dog checking into those runs at 9 a.m. in the morning, and we but had... these dogs were here first. They'd paid already. They'd booked already. Sure. Well, and these are... These, they're still getting all the same care that they would here in our lower play area versus upstairs. Paul could not explain why all that bedding was not with the dogs. She's offering refunds to any upset customer. Truth is, without an employee taking pictures, you really don't know what's going on with your dog after you drop it off. That is, unless the kennel offers one key feature. I can tell you three dogs that will never go to a kennel without puppy cams. Puppy cams. A growing number of kennels provide customers with real-time video access to their dog. Pampered Pet Care does not have such a system, but the owner says she's considering it now. If they don't have webcams, you know, you have no visibility to what's happening to your dog. Even in the places with the best of reputations. One of those upset customers says this bothered her so much because she drove to five different kennels in North Fulton to make sure she had the right place for her dog. Then she gets a call from the Fox of I team saying, we got some pictures we want to show you. Yeah, and, and somebody who's willing to spend almost $1,000 for eight nights to, to house their dog thinks of their dog as their child. I mean, it, we're talking about a lot of money and a lot of love at stake here. And a lot of trust. And yeah. I think that if the kennel had called them and said, we had a problem, these dogs were downstairs instead of upstairs, or right. whatever the truth was, if they had told them that before we came along, this would have mitigated it a lot.
Sounds reasonable. All right, Randy, thanks very right. much.